All right, beautiful morning, Saturday, August 5th. Yes, it's already August, I can't believe it. Summer's flying by. I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off all summer. Anyway, loaded up, headed to Mount Hope, Ohio for the uh, steam and engine show that they have there. They're featuring Moline, so I'm just gonna go up for the day today. I just haven't had time. Started on Thursday, ends today. They do a tractor drive today at 11.30. 90 minutes through Holmes County, which is uh, Amish country, really nice area. So I'm uh, taking the 302 Super 1970 gasoline, and I'm picking up some tires when I'm there from some guys. And I'm supposed to meet Wendell Everett and get a rim and some other stuff, but that didn't work out. So gonna head out here and meet some friends and have a good day, and I'll uh, film as we go. Hopefully we see some good stuff. Made it up here to the uh, steam and engine show in Mount Hope, Ohio, featuring Moline. This is up in the middle of Amish country, so it took, uh, there's no real good way to get here, a lot of roundaboutness, but uh, here I am. And uh, Glenn Stutzel showed up with their UDLX that they just had completely redone, and it is nice. They did a good, good job, and then Doug Everett's uh, UDLX is here, and I think he's got that Vista here also. So, Kind of, they got the steam tractors over there, uh, and then uh, pulling track is down, down through there. Um, today, I think they're doing garden tractor pulls. So, just kind of going over what's here. We got uh, Stuchel Farms from Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. Their 38 UDLX, like I said, just had it redone, and it. Uh, it was worth the wait. They waited quite a while. I think it was over a year uh, or more that they had it. And you got uh, Dale and Doug Everett's 38 UDLX next to it. And then uh, their Vista. Nice looking Vista. Looks like it's original. Uh, we got an M602. Looks like probably a nice original. It's the Schrock family. From Indiana. And then we've got a G705 from the Schrock family. It's on steel. Steel with rubber over top. Another one from the Schrock family, another 705. 
It's got some big rubber on the back. And a very nice UB special. It's Angel Price, Ansel Price, out of uh, South Carolina. Very nicely done UB special. Actually, this was at the winter show when it was at Mayer's uh, in Jeffersonville. Um, was it last year or the year before? He's got some really nice tractors. This is also Ansel's Z. If you get a chance to ever see his tractors, they're all very nicely done. Because we got a few of them right here in a row. This BF, I believe, is also his. And then this 2155 that's beautiful. And he had this at uh, the last half century of progress. Literally it got done and they trucked it out to Rantoul and that was the first show it'd been to. Uh, but the guy that, that did it is right up here in this area. Um, and uh, he did a beautiful job on this tractor. Of course, it's pretty rare and it was, I talked to Ansel about it and he said that it was basically a basket case when he got it. It was not in good shape at all. So that's pretty neat to, to see. And down here on the end, we've got a Oliver 1650 in, uh, in its working clothes. I'll come back around the back side of this. It's just a nicely with the fender fuel tanks. A really nice tractor. In the back of his other, other ones here. The paint on these is really nice. Like they spare no expense. And make sure that they're done they're done right so on the next row back here we got an Oliver 1900 front wheel assist on this it's got some interesting uh, kind of more narrow tires on it this is a 63 it's the Gingrich's from Millersburg which is not far from here Another one from the Gingrich's is John Deere 435. And we got a U here. Looks like they're probably doing some pulling with this. Nice looking U with the, the wide front. It's a 53. Looks like it's for sale, so if anybody's looking for one. And then we got Glenn and Annette Smith's uh, Jetstar 3. If you saw my uh, Plain City show video, then you know that Glenn had this here, there also. We got this big G on steel wheels. I believe this was at uh, the Wassion show last year that featured Moline. They brought this up and it's a really neat, unique tractor with the steel. Got a G900. I got a Braden walking here. That's my man that, that did a good job driving my lawn tractor, Plain City. This looks like probably a 69 G900. It's got the close center hydraulic pump on it, the Vicker pump. It's got the flat fenders on it. Straight pipe, I'm sure that that's got a bark to it. And we got Matt's uh, 302. Super here, narrow front. And then Wesley and Braden's 445 next to it. And then y'all know that I brought my 70 302 gas. I've already run into one, uh, one person that subscribes to the channel here and he came over from Indiana so it's nice to meet him. I did bring my board where I sell the decals. Uh, I did just do these the newer or the old style dealer decal. I did it for Doug, uh, Doug Cotton but I also have uh, the different different styles so if anybody's interested in those. We've got a Rumney here on steel. Looking tractor. Got a John Deere 
AR. Y'all know I don't know much about John Deere's. A BR that's been restored. That's uh, the Miller's. And another older John Deere here. Nice little house that's been restored. A few more John Deere's. And then a 70 down here on the end that I'm gonna guess they do some pulling with based on the tires. Got a Oliver barge wagon over here. And then another Oliver Hart Par back here in the corner. That looks pretty nice. It's a nice restore. Seven thirty deer next to a G. This one I think's got a little bit of weight on it, so we're probably using that for some more. Another G. Turning that over, that straight pipe is probably going to be a little loud. Seven thirteen garden tractor, a four thirty garden tractor. Seven twenty, and then uh, A with a single front wheel. Over here, we got some pulling tractors all lined up. 802 farm all there got an all over 1755 with a g900 next to it when i pulled in there was uh that g900 was running and with that pipe on it you know it's running it's uh, it's got a nice sound to it diesel I'd say it's probably a 69. It again has the closed center pump on it. They're talking about the UDLX on the loudspeaker right now. This has got a viewer tag on it at some point in time. There was a Thought a G sitting over here, but they must have moved it. Nice 866. They're obviously pulling with. And uh, 3020 over there. The big truck rolling down through here, and after he goes through, I'm going to walk over. This guy's unloading some. They're pulling garden tractors today, so everybody's bringing their garden tractors in. Alice 200 sitting over here. You can see there was some orange paint. You got an Oliver 770. So, it's a small show, but it's a neat little show. I'm going to walk over to the steam tractors. Actually, on the way there, here's a nice 707 puller they got set up. That pipe could uh, swallow a little kid. It's a nice looking tractor. It sounds really good. I don't know if you can hear that engine the way I can, but it's uh, really got a good sound to it. But that thing can uh, pull some weight. Just to show you the pulling track. It's a nice looking pulling track. They have bleachers on both sides. They had horse pulls here on Thursday. They had tractor and I think truck pulls 
yesterday and today they're doing garden tractors and you can see the track ends and it's right at the uh, tractor displays it's, it's a nice setup because it's all real close together here so out here they got a big open area but out here they've got a sawmill set up got a rock crusher uh, we've got a lot of different demonstrations set up, threshing, threshing's back over there. There's a little bit of everything uh, set up out here, and they just got a lot of space, which is pretty nice. We're going to walk up, and we're going to check out the, the steam tractors. Had to walk over here, Oliver 99 diesel, Cormac Deering on steel. WD9 diesel. If you own a tractor, 650. And you're Steel you're rears with drive. Again, we start rubber on it. 660. Another 660. Huber. Another Huber. Nice looking tractors. Made in Marion, not far from where I live. Big IH1466. That's a flywheel on that one. Big hit miss here. And they got the steam. So it looks like they got one running a generator here. down here on the end got it next to a baker it's running another generator Exactly sure what that one is. Port here on. Another baker that's moving around here. Get out of the smoke, get up wind. Baker there behind it. Had to walk over here and show this neat little oil pool. Like a quarter size, or whatever they call those, and then there's a Oliver 75 lawn tractor here. You don't see those very often. A lot of cool things. Like I said, it's not a big show but uh, they got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of people around. It's, uh, it's 
pretty nice. show coming up in September in Indiana that's uh, the Prairie Gold Rush National Show and uh, that's gonna be a good good show if you're looking for a good one to go late in September taking off on the drive here Like Doug's having a little bit of trouble getting the UDLX coming. There he goes. It's going to be hot in there today because it's warm outside. And they're bringing these very nicely painted tractors. It's on his BF there, the proud owner of it. Uh, glad that they're bringing these along. And then you got the UB Special Diesel. And then the Z. It's a beautiful drive. This is beautiful country. This is uh, mostly uh, Amish farming. Um, just past a really nice farm back there where they had a farm all hooked up to a belt to a thresher that was in the barn. Um, yeah, so it's just a little bit different than uh, the way other farmers do things in this area. It's like maybe they had some shocked wheat or something in there. I'm not exactly sure, but it's a beautiful area. That's why I wanted to go on this drive. It's part of Ohio that's a beautiful part of Ohio to come to. And then on top of that, uh, you know, it's just it's like taking a step back in time the way they farm up here. So we all the kind of had to stop and wait for us. We got the UV diesel and the, the Z in front of us and I don't know neither one of them are moving near as fast as they should be moving hopefully they got got it figured out here and got it in the right gear the guy on the Z is really struggling I don't think he's uh, driven that tractor much so we got everybody else coming behind us and uh, I guess the 2155 did 
come up, it's bringing up the rear. So here comes a horse pulling a cart. So pretty cool area of, uh, of Ohio if you haven't been here before. is kind of funny but seeing a lot of uh the Amish up here riding bicycles a couple of them I'm like wow they're really going pretty fast then I realized they're riding e-bikes so they're uh they're cheating but if it's battery powered they can ride it so there's a e-bike dealer here kind of funny Everybody's coming out to watch us go past. They don't look very impressed by the mowing yellow, I gotta say. And just like that, we drop from uh, farm fields into a valley where it's uh, obviously a creek bottom. And it's a lot cooler down here, which is nice. Did everything on this ride so far. Really enjoying it. And then we come out of the woods into uh, still kind of down in that valley, but some steep hills around here that I guess I'm a flatlander. So these hills seem kind of big. To some of you guys, they might seem kind of normal. one of the neatest things about this drive is every once in a while I catch a glimpse of Doug on that UDLX just going down these roads. I think about how, how awesome that is. Like back in 1938-39 he'd have been out seen one of those on the road. Had to be like such a rare thing. It was such a rare tractor even back then. Down this field, we got a bunch of sheep. Kind of a, I've seen a little bit of everything. Some really nice houses with nice orchards, and you know they grow a lot of uh, grown vegetables and things here. So it's been uh, pretty neat. I just passed a hay field back there that had a horse-drawn sickle bar mower parked in the corner. That I'm sure they just leave there, and then when they get ready to cut the hay, they. Uh, come in and hook up to it and mow the hay down. I will also say that the uh, the old 302 has been barking a little bit today with the uh, some of these hills have uh, made it work a lot harder than it's worked in a long time. This is probably I'm gonna I'm gonna rank this as like one of the top tractor drives I've ever done just as far as the the scenery goes and uh, you know, just a very neat part of Ohio. Looks like a huge horse farm back there, I don't know. We're in uh, Holmes County. Kind of hard to film because I'm going to keep working the throttle and then sometimes be on the brakes on some of these hills to slow down. Uh, horse and 
buggy tied up at the hitching post next to a car with an electric bike and a brand new house. Kind of a little bit of everything at this place. You can see the front of the drive over there on the other road. We're about ready to go around this corner. A huge hay field here. I should probably really be paying attention because that looks like a steep hill we're coming up on. Braden's doing all the driving there. Matt doesn't even, he's got his hands on the fenders. Oh, this is gonna be a drop. Ugh. strong sickle bar out in the corner of a field looks like that might have been wheat Well, they're still pulling the garden tractors. We made it back from the tractor drive. Again, very nice drive. I just loaded up because one of the things I was doing when I was here, I was picking up some tires. So those are big tires and uh, it's going on a big tractor, which will be coming in a video to tell you what that tractor is gonna be here real soon. But anyway, got loaded up. I might walk over and record just a little bit of uh, some of these pullers still going and, uh, and then we'll get out of here. tractors and then be getting out of here so very nice show uh, it's not a great big show but it is a good show and um, I had a lot of fun here and uh, tractor drive was uh, awesome today I would have liked to have been here Thursday evening for the horse point because I guess they had a ten thousand dollar purse make it up here today but I'm glad I came it was a lot of fun so uh, appreciate everybody watching there's some more videos coming really soon uh, I bought some new tractors and I'm gonna be I'm gonna teasing you with that but about ready to release those videos so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and uh, till the next video which will hopefully be real soon